Relax, you'll be fine. I'm not trying, it's just I just don't like the idea of being put under, of you know, being so helpless. It's okay, babe. I'll be here. I'll make sure the nurse doesn't violate you. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, they should hire you to save my life, I guess. <laughs> Russell Bertrand? Yes, yes, that's me. You just want to follow me? Okay. Okay, hon, you'll be fine. I'll be there when you wake up. All right, Russ, this will help you relax. Okay, take a deep breath. Jen, please, sit down. What? What happened? Where's Russ? Hey! Hello? I mean, come on, open up! Russ had a reaction to the anesthesia. He had a seizure while in surgery. I'm sorry, he didn't make it. Hey! Jen! Open the door! Open the fucking door! I'm alive! I'm right fucking here!
But did you ever think about the meaning of these dreams that you claim to have been having? You know, around the 30th time I woke up in the exact same room, I stopped caring about the meaning of anything. And how many times did you wake up there before you stabbed Jennifer? 103 times. And you thought uh, that somehow by stabbing her, it would uh, wake you up? I don't know what I thought. I've just seen a lot of strange shit. So the police and the ambulance were called, and you were taken away. Uh, at what point did you realize this wasn't a dream? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm still not sure. Maybe none of you are real. Right. Well, I feel like you're in the right place, Mr. Bertrand. I suppose. Well, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to answer my questions, Mr. Bertrand, and I truly hope that you get the help that you need. Thank you. Right. Good luck. Thanks for the access, Doctor. I appreciate it. Not a problem. You'll have to sign out, sir. Okay. Uh, I seem to have lost my pen. Look at his eyes, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, a reflex, I would imagine. 